This is the Nerd QX++. <laughs> Alexa likes to say the Nerd Quacks double P. This is a 4.8 terahash per second multi-chip Bitcoin home mining. It only uses 72 watts and it has the same hash rate of a full-size Bitcoin miner released 10 years ago. Which, that doesn't sound too great, but I don't think you understand what a full-size Bitcoin miner looks like and how much power it uses. I'm talking thousands of watts compared to less than 100 watts here. It's also utilizing latest generation Bitcoin mining chips, the BM1370 ASIC. It uses a Lilio T Display S3, which is a two inch LCD color screen that not only lets you monitor hash rate, also Bitcoin price and the ASIC temperature, power usage, efficiency, the IP address, and even more. This is made by Power Mining. They are the biggest Bitax and Nerd QX++ manufacturer in the world. And that's a good thing because they have economies of scale, best in class quality control, customer support, and some of the best pricing. You wouldn't think that would all go together. I got their original Bitax Gamma in a long time ago. And I was really impressed by it. I've been a fan ever since. The NerdQuacks Plus Plus is open source Bitcoin mining hardware and software. That means if you want to grab the soldering pen and source up some components, you could put this together at home. Now that's a Bitcoin miner with the right characteristics. On paper, it's 4.8 terahash a second, but this is actually my second Nerd QX Plus Plus, and I've proudly achieved better mining performance than it's advertised as. I love when things under promise and over deliver. Hopefully you feel this way about this video by the end of it. If you do, please subscribe to Voscoin. How about some more specs? They're using the Thermal Riot AX P90X36. Yep, sounds pretty cool. Low profile cooler. They also are using a switching power supply, 100 to 240 voltage, 10 amps, 120 watts, 2.5 amps max. But here's the deal, the big kicker, 12 volt output. That is what makes the Nerd QX++ very different than a Bitax Gamma. Do not think you're gonna reuse your power supply. You will potentially damage it. And it comes with a nice metal stand. You'd be surprised how many small time manufacturers skip stuff like that and then sell it to you at the same price, leaving you feeling a little chinsed. Oh, and I was such a fan of power mining, I opened up an affiliate account, and more importantly, I campaigned for the best coupon code they could possibly give, which is code VOSCOIN to save a whopping 10%, the biggest discount that they've ever offered. So make sure to save some coin with code VOSCOIN if you do order one of these. This is the Nerd QX++. Just got another one of these in, I'm very excited. But forget me, how about something for you? How about a free Bitax Gamma? We're giving away 10 of them. Full details with the link out in the video description below. I'm also so impressed with this open source Bitcoin mining hardware. We are collaborating with Power Mining to bring our own Foscoin edition to market. Only 200 or maybe 223 of them. If you know, you know. But here's the kicker. It's not just a Bitax Gamma that's green and says Voscoin on it. It's packaged as an all-in-one Bitcoin node as well as a Bitcoin miner. So it's a Bitax Gamma and a full Bitcoin node that will allow you to run your own Bitcoin mining pool instance. So with this one, essentially, plug and play package, you will be running Bitcoin, mining Bitcoin, and you'll be doing it all yourself, decentralized, your own node, your own mining pool, your own miner. And if you are the one to hit the next Bitcoin block, earning over 300,000, almost about $350,000, no scratch that, that's gross, fiat, the inflation currency, you learn over 3.125 Bitcoins and you will pay a 0% fee if you're doing all that. I love the packaging Power Mining's doing across the board with their products, they're up in the game. If you saw their video on the Bitax Gamma, uh, and then also the prototype Gamma Turbo, some really cool stuff in the mix. Here's the deal, I'm gonna cut right to the chase. Uh, this is not a new to me product, this is a new to me final edition. I, I had a prototype of the Nerd QX, uh, which, which was really cool. 
and uh, incredible opportunity and you'll also know it had several different components on it compared to this release model but mine has been fantastic and everything here looks to be of the same or better quality most notably it's a different pcb but yeah this is an easy to use plug and play bitcoin miner man these things look good i i, I love these here's the deal this is the best mini bitcoin miner in the world that we've ever seen so far and let me explain why you get an impressive hash rate that could fit into the freaking palm of your hand right it's not cheap coming in at 517 dollars but it's affordable it's cheap compared to full-size bitcoin miners that cost latest gen over eight thousand dollars and you can plug it in any outlet in your house and it'll run and it'll mine over wi-fi two things that really expensive bitcoin miner ironically wouldn't even do Mining Disrupt is looking for companies and industry leaders to exhibit at the world's largest Bitcoin mining conference this November in Texas. Reach out to Mining Disrupt for more information. If you're interested in attending, use code BOSSCOIN to save on tickets. Many Bitcoin miners aren't for everyone. And if you're interested and can afford to do so, run full-size Bitcoin miners. You get more hash for the money. But this isn't just a Bitcoin miner. It's a fun product. I like This is exciting. This is what I want on my desk. It's also not loud at all. It's very quiet when you're running these. Furthermore, you get a nice display in particular with the Nerd Q axis. And it also functions as a Bitcoin price ticker. So for $517, I take my shot at hitting the next Bitcoin block. And with more hash rate, I have higher odds. On average, I see around five terahash a second on the Nerd Q Ax plus pluses. So with that in mind, According to SoloLuck, the best Bitcoin solo mining calculator in the world ever. Yeah, they didn't pay me to say that I made it. Well, I did with the team. Joel did an incredible job on it, and I helped. <laughs> this, I have a chance of about one in 1.2 to 3 million per day, or one in 3,447 per year. Those are not huge odds, but it's also spending less than $600 giving yourself a chance to earn $350,000 worth nearly of Bitcoin. Oh, and on average, if you zoom out on the chart, Bitcoin keeps becoming worth more and more. So maybe 350 this year, maybe over a million dollars in the future. Some people will laugh and scoff at that. Yeah, well, they laughed and scoffed at, you know, Bitcoin will never be $1,000, 10000 50000 I mean, we go on and on. Bitcoin is better than gold. And just compare those market caps. And that is just one thing. That is just one single thing. It competes with so much more than just gold. Attaching these to the stand is quick and easy, and it only goes in one way. You'll notice the screw spacing there, right? So we got four up top, and then one space down there below. They send you uh, screws, and I'm, I'm very happy they also send you an Allen key, so you really just have like a turnkey experience there. Then we've got our power supply. So let's go ahead And a power cable, bang, in the wall. It's already in the miner, bang. Hopefully no bang, click. Power supply, connected. All right, peel time, baby. Chinese food just got delivered. Your boy's hungry. I gotta hurry up. We can't just hang out all night because, because I got General Tso's chicken fried rice and an egg roll. I've gone over bit axe and nerd axe setups in previous videos, but let's speed run this one real quick. All right, grab your computer or your phone. I'm just going to use my phone. I go over to Wi Fi. I select the nerd axe. Power mining makes it even easier to the point they're even running their own freaking mining pool these days. What don't these guys do? Nerd Q axe PP, black. I'll just do that for now. Got to put in my Wi Fi network here. Planetary Fortress, incredible structure, StarCraft 2. Paste my address, dot nerd q x p p black. Save and restart. You may also wonder, why am I using a publicly hosted Bitcoin mining pool when I just talked about a node to run your own? 
Well, I just wanted to illustrate how quick and easy it is to get this thing up and online. Before you mess with all that other stuff, just get it connected, get it hashing on any Bitcoin solar mining pool, and open up the door for the chance, the possibility to be winning. And then after I get this thing up and running, then I'm syncing my Bitcoin node, which is like one click, and then I'm setting up public pool, which, so just like that, I'm up hashing, it's starting to activate, I'm connected to my local Wi-Fi here, you can see the hash rate start to climb, 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 climb. This is a big hash rate, this is multi-chip, so it takes a little bit to come up to speed, uh, so that's fine, give it time, let it run, let it eat. We can see here at the wall with the current setting, I am pulling about 92 watts at the wall, so about 20 watts over the projection there. Uh, but we can actually zoom in here and see the watts per terahash. Uh, so, but it's inaccurate until we basically get up to full speed here. But it's just that quick and easy. And to round it out, you know, why am I messing around with mini miners? I'm, I'm all about it. These are open source hardware. This is open source software. This is what Bitcoin's all about. If you buy closed sourced hardware, and if you buy the knockoffs, the rips, like, I mean, there's Chinese factories that are just straight ripping BitAx. They're closed sourcing it. They're not even contributing like in no capacity. And, and, and uh, Christian from Brains went over there, even interviewed him. And basically they literally say like, all they care about is making money. Just understand if you're buying closed sourced mining hardware, when there's an open source alternative that's similarly priced, similar performance, similar everything, then, you know, for all the Bitcoin maxis and stuff that hate on other cryptocurrencies to say there's Bitcoins and then there's shit coins, there is no second best, all that stuff. Yeah, well, it turns out you're a fake liar because uh, you know, and I get everything in here to review here on the channel. Uh, so, don't, so don't misunderstand that. I, I, of course, am running some closed source mining hardware. That's because I'm here to get it in, review it, compare. Why did I not reach out to Canon to collaborate on, the, on their mini miner? Because I only want to collaborate on hardware that actually matches just you know my morals my principles my goals here right open source hardware and software puts bitcoin first it puts this stuff back into the hands of the people it rapidly accelerates the the development the growth the speed the momentum it's everything about it's good for bitcoin and everything about closed source especially when there's a comparable open source option for bitcoin it's awful there's bitcoin open source and then there's shit coins closed sourced and if that doesn't resonate with you and i don't know how that couldn't resonate with you so hey nerd qx plus plus best in class option and if i was going to buy just one of these it would be this one because of all those reasons i just mentioned and again mini miners may not be for everyone congratulations go buy a full-size bitcoin miner but if you ever wanted to ask me for whatever it's worth, a guy that does this all day, every day, that's been doing this for nearly a decade, and I've built out my own full-size Bitcoin mining farm, you know, at least to the extent of my capabilities, time, uh, capital, everything like that right now, which miner would you buy? I would buy the Nerd QX++ if I wanted a mini miner. It has the fun use and aesthetics of the screen. The cost per terahash is competitive. It's open source hardware and software. If my budget was lower, simply the BitX Gamma. And the interesting product on the horizon that falls right in between these, the BitX Gamma Turbo. Two chips instead of four. Will be interesting. I'm Boss here on the Boss One YouTube channel. This is Tails, our CCO, our Chief Cutie Officer here. With 10 seconds of Tails in every video. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time. Good luck. Let me know down below which one you're going for and why. I'd love to hear.